In this video, I'm about to show you how I created a short film in Blender and After Effects with zero budget. Let's get started. Check down the link below for the full video. I started by making a storyboard thanks to my friend. After that, we figured out that it will take place in a corridor. The option I have is to make a CG corridor. I imported a human for scale reference and then add a plane and just scale it up and put this tiles texture I found online. I then add some planes at the side and start extruding in and outward to create a door walls. And I slap this white brick material on the walls and it started to look pretty good. The tiles look somewhat CG and smooth. So, so I added some layer of surface imperfections. With that being said, I just paste some online assets on the scene the locker and the doors with some blood on the ground i then roughly model this bob and add the area light to it and the environment was almost done for the last thing i did i add a huge cube covered everything in the environment set this to view as wire and add a principal volume to it with some low density to get that hazy look on the corridor at this stage I'm happy with how the corridor is looking, so I moved on to next stage, which is creating the monster. I didn't create the monster myself, I just browsed some free 3D model online and I found this mutant's free 3D model in CG Trader. I then sculpted some details on it to make it look more high poly. I then select some vertices and assign to a vortex group and add a displacement modifier on the mutant and just tweak the modifier settings to get something interesting i then duplicate the monster and add a wireframe modifier and shrink wrap it to the original monster from here everything is going as expected until i rig the monster and tries to animate it which is impossible i've speed the video up here but my pc cannot animate this thing because of the high poly or whatever i don't know I have to get another monster and scrap this idea. To post every bone, it took about 15 to 20 seconds to move it. So what do we do now? How do we fix this problem? Yes, of course, I had you said make demo. Of course, we are going to download a free character with free animation from Mixamo. After browsing Mixamo for some minutes, I found this monster which I really like. I then import it to blender and redo the textures and make it look like it was slimy. I did what I did for the previous monster. I still select some vertices and assign them to a vertex group and add a displacement to the to the monster. With the environment being set, the monster being set. All I can do now is import the monster to the environment and scale it to fit my environment perfectly. And do what? Of course, animate the camera. I added two spotlights, one with higher and one with lower intensity to get that touchlight texture. Since I'm not using cycles, I can't use notes for lights, but using this method, it's it let me fake it a little. I then I then parent the spotlight to the camera to make it look like it was a body cam flashlight and uh, keep animating my camera. I then add a free add-on to get realistic handheld camera motion. Now I will make my way to the full CG scenes and animate the camera. Then we will move on to the one which I am inside. To import your footage to Blender, you will have to rotoscope yourself, which some some people do in Blender, but I prefer doing mine in After Effects. Apart from the bad key that I have here, which is very hard to key, you can see how bad it is. But after some changes, I managed to get away like this with it. I don't know why I wear yellow shirts for this. With that being said, jump back to Blender, press F3 and select import images as plain which you will have to enable the add-on in your preferences add-on and search for images just enable it is a free add-on 
press F3, select Import Images as Plane, navigate to your footage and select Emission and press OK. The interesting thing about this is that you get realistic shadows, you get realistic, some light will be bouncing on your body, some reflection will be on the ground and so on. Even if you are to composite it, you wouldn't be, it will not be hard as it, it will be if you didn't import it and the most part is the camera movement you will get the same camera movement with your background which i think is more convincing for the viewers now jump back to shader editor make sure you check in cyclic and auto refresh and make sure to give it enough frames what do we have to do now it's of course animate the camera a little to make it more convincing but you have to know that there is a point that if you reach it will show us that it is a just 2d playing card and it makes sense right and i keep importing my footages using same trick after that i render everything differently so that i can get more control over them when i will composite it i then add a color grade which i was lucky to get what i was looking for in third party plugin from red giant and I make the muzzle flash look a little bit good. This is not a muzzle flash tutorial, but you can get many of them on YouTube. But leave a comment below if you want me to take a look about that in the next video. And for the CGs, I add some noise grain and blow it a little to make it look not very CG. And that is how I created a full shot film in Blender and After Effects. If you like something like this, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.